Seller Central Account Critical Guidelines. In this lesson, you're going to learn some critical guidelines to make sure you do not have any issues with your Seller Central account. Amazon have recently started being very particular about certain aspects of Seller Central accounts. This appears to be in connection with them preventing any kind of potential fraudulent accounts. This recent policy change has resulted in existing members having their accounts suspended for minor things. And the process to get accounts back is time consuming and can lead to loss of profits. However, as long as you follow the guidelines in this lesson and the instructions on how to set up your Seller Central account, you should not have any issues. The following guidelines are critical. If you stick to them, as I said, you should have no issues. Failing to do so can cause complications for your account. And these guidelines apply to everyone no matter where you are based or which country you start selling in. Now, if you do receive any kind of suspension, then post in the Module 1 area of the ASM community before trying to fix the issue yourself and will give you advice on the best course of action depending on your situation. Now, when you create your Seller Central account, it is possible that you will get a message saying you have been unsuccessful. The messages can vary from bland to downright scary, but do not panic. More often than not, it's a very simple situation to fix. Do not, under any circumstances, try creating a new account if you get issues. Creating a new account is the most common reason for suspensions and is the most difficult situation to overcome. If this does happen to you, do not try and fix this yourself immediately. Post in the ASM community and we will advise you of the best plan of action we know of, depending on your situation. Now, if you have ever had a Seller Central account, then again, do not try creating a new one. If, when you try to access your old account, it gives you an error message, then again, do not try and create a new one. If your account was not closed for contravening Amazon's rules, then contact Seller Central support and ask to reopen it. However, if you do suspect your account may have been closed for breaking any of Amazon's rules, then again, post in the community and we will provide you with help. If you are working with a partner, then do not have them access your account with your information. In other words, the email and password you use to set up your Seller Central account. Instead, create your account and then add them as a user in this Seller Permissions area with their own email and password. If, after watching this module, you are unsure how to do this, then post in the community for help. In the previous lesson, you learned you can change any aspect of your Seller Central account setup information. However, you now need to be careful when making any changes. And more often than not, it's simply a case of contacting Seller Central and telling them what changes you wish to make. We also recommend you do not make any changes for at least three months after your account is approved. And we're going to cover the most important changes now. If you have any doubts at any time, then ask in the community or simply contact Seller Central support. If you create your Seller Central account using your personal information and then create a company, you can change to your company information. However, you will probably need a bank account for your company to add as your deposit method and the name on the bank account and company must match. We recommend you contact Seller Central before doing this and explain what you want to do and why and they will help you make the changes. If you want to move and want to change address, this does not normally cause any issues. If it is a change of business address, make sure your company information reflects this change. Again, we recommend contacting Seller Central support before making the change. Simply letting them know what you want to do and why, more often than not, will just make the whole process a lot simpler and you won't get flagged. Changing your deposit method and or your payment information. Make sure all the information matches your seller information. Once again, contact Seller Central before doing this. So what's next? So now you've learned critical guidelines you must follow to avoid any issues with your account. In the next lesson, you will learn how to create your Seller Central account the best way. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.